Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for simonsystamp.com and today I'm creating a card with Altenew Quaint Blooms with a fresh and funky look. The Quaint Blooms features two flowers that are put together and also a single flower in the upper left and messages that you can mix and match. I'll be white embossing these onto some watercolor cardstock and then using my watercolors to fill in. I'll be using my Misty with also a piece of Media Grip which helps the foam from sliding around since I know I'll be stamping this more than once and I want to keep my paper right in place for my second impression. Once I have my paper in place and my stamps onto the door, I'm using my anti-static bag to cover my watercolor cardstock to prevent the embossing powder from sticking to areas that I don't want it to. I'm using Simons' Stamp Clear Embossing and Watermark Ink to cover the stamp. And then I'll use my sleeve to press down to get a good impression, and I'll check my work. If I need to, I can re-ink and stamp again. Next, I'll spread white embossing powder all over the panel and tap off the excess with my finger. And use my heat tool on the hottest setting to set the powder. I'll be using my Magello Mission paints for this, and I like to spray some water into the colors I think I'll be using. And I'll also spray my paper so that the paints can flow into the wells of the embossing powder. To get this started, I'll be using a wet brush into the wet paints, and I'm going to start off by painting in my leaves first. So I'll be using several colors of green, and I'm just going to drop those in and follow those lines of the embossing powder. As I go along, I'll re-wet my brush and get into some other green tones and start dropping those in and let them blend together. For the flowers, I'll be using several tones of blues and also some purple. So in the top, I have a little bit of purple that I'll drop in right on top of the blue, and I'll let that bleed through. If I need to, I can add a little bit more water on top to get a really nice blend. At this point, I have colored in all of my flower petals and leaves, and I'm using a clean brush with water. And I'll just be splattering some water on top and allow it to do some water droplets. And if you notice, I have not colored in the centers of the flowers. I have stamped and embossed a second piece of watercolor cardstock to where I can cut out those centers and do some dimensional layering on top. For a little bit of sparkle and shine, I'm adding some of the white metallic paint from my Prima metallic paint set. And I'm using a very wet paintbrush so that I have a liquid mixture, and then I can just tap that onto each of the flowers where I'd like some shine. Once everything is dry, I've used some low-tack tape, and I've placed the coordinating die on top, and I can run this through my die cut machine. And when I'm done die cutting, I can gently release my flowers from the tape, and here's how they look close up with those droplets of metallic paint. Here's how my flowers look with the centers colored in and cut out, and then stacked up with some dimensional tape. For the background of my card, I'm using a panel of Audrey Blue cardstock and a crystal distortion embossing folder. So I'm just going to place my paper inside and there are lines for you to follow. Then you can close this up and use your die cut machine to get a beautiful 3D imprinted background. To put everything together, I'm using Simon's Stamp Dot Runner onto our top folding note card. And I'm just going around the outer edges and then I'll do a couple strips in the center so that I can be sure that it holds some of those embossed areas. Then I can align it and gently press down in place. I'm adding a little bit of foam tape to the back of the flower bundle. I want this to sit up just a little bit from the card. And then I can remove the backing of the dimensional tape and place it centered onto that background. And for the smaller flower, I've added a double row of the adhesive tape so it sits a little bit above the other flowers. I thought it would be nice to throw in some white leaves, so I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Olive Leaves, and I'll just be gluing these down in place. I'm adding glue only to the bottom portion, and then I can tuck these in under those flowers. And finally, for my message, I have cut one of the Simon Says Stamp sentiment strips, and I've added a little bit of foam tape to the back side, and I'll just be placing this directly onto the petals of the larger flower. This Altenew stamp and die set was really fun to work with. I love the bright colors and the bold shape of the petals and leaves. 
Be sure to check the description box below for a link to our blog post and also the supplies I have used for this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.